What's up guys? Welcome back Blender users and Blender fans. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to take a photo of a leaf in your garden and then use that photo inside of a 3D scene. It's extremely simple and I'm going to walk you through that right now. So we have our Blender open here. First, we want to go and just delete the cube. And the first thing we want to do is uh, bring in that photo. So we're going to go import image as planes. Now remember that you need to activate the setting in your add-ons section. You can do that by going to preferences, add-ons. Just type in planes and you'll see this import export import images as planes. Make sure this is selected. Also, what you need to select, I think, type in sapling. So we want to activate add curve sapling tree generator. We are going to use that as well. Now, I'm quickly going to just change my render settings to GPU. And then we're going to go to file import image as planes. Now you want to go to wherever you saved that picture. I'm going to select it and import it. And I'm going to change my rendered view to material preview. Scale this leaf up a bit. And I think we'll just adjust the rotations here and go to the top view. So here we have the picture of our leaf that we are going to be using in this tutorial. Now I just went outside into my garden, um, actually my neighbor's garden, and just, uh, I didn't go in their garden, I just uh, plucked the leaf from the tree that was hanging over, and I just placed it on a white piece of paper and took a photo with my cell phone. I then emailed myself that photo and I am using that now. So now, once we have it here, we want to go to edit mode. And we want to go to the knife tool. And what we're going to do here is just zoom in and start here at the bottom. And you just want to cut along the edge of this leaf. It doesn't have to be perfect because this is also not going to be for a close up. Um, on the, this one be close to the camera so it doesn't have to be super tidy and we're just going to cut out this leaf very quickly moving all the way around make sure to be following the the edge of the leaf and you can maybe cut a little bit inside of the leaf as well just to make sure you don't have a white edge showing but like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect because it's still going to look really cool at the end of the day. We're going to just proceed to cut here. This is going to take a little bit of time, but just be sure to take your time. There's no rush and just go ahead and cut your leaf out. It's like being back in school and you're cutting pictures. Almost finished. Follow this curve. And what's great about using a photo, which is essentially projection mapping, is um, all of the shadows and the textures are already baked right into this picture. So the computer doesn't have to struggle to process that. It's all here already. And once you connect your last dot to your first one, you're going to press enter. You're going to go to your selection tool, select panes, and we want to select those ones and see delete faces. Right, so now we've got a leaf. Look at that already 
very quickly. If I go in here to the rendered view, we already have something that looks pretty realistic. But we're going to make it even more realistic. Now before we do that, make sure to save your blender scene. You do not want to lose your progress if the power goes off. Especially here in South Africa, we struggle from a lot of power cuts. So we're going to copy that. Rename our blender scene. Save. Cool. Now we're going to go back into edit mode here. And we just want to add a few more cuts to uh, go to loop cut. Or actually not loop cut. We're going to go back to the knife tool. And just click there. And before we do that, just go to the top view, right? Now I see our leaf is a little off center. You can hit R to rotate. And then we want to go to edit. Loop cut. Not loop cut, sorry, knife tool. And then just click there. Draw a line through there. And then press enter. And then we want to select that edge. And hit G. Uh, okay, that didn't work as well as I planned. But what we can do here is we can maybe try and add a modifier. So let's see. We want to go to simple deform. Uh, maybe on the, this axis here. Shade smooth. Um, that's twisting. We just want to bend it. Maybe on the Y. Or if you want, you can actually twist it a little bit. Okay. Scratch that lo last part. We're not going to add any more cuts. Right, so we've got our leaf. So here we have our leaf, right? And now we're going to go into our shading view. I'm going to just quickly open that. And what we can do is we can actually drop in a quick HDRI. Now I love using the Blender Kit add-on. Um, it's completely free and you can just download it and install it into Blender. And it's, uh, it's very easy. You just go to BlenderKit.com, download the Blender Kit, go to uh, Edit Preferences. You want to go to Add-ons, Install, go select Blender Kit. And then once you've installed it, make sure you search for it here and activate it. And it will then show a preview bar here. Or on your side panel, there will be a button that says Blender Kit. Now, what we I love using the Blender Kit because it has hundreds and hundreds of free um, materials and textures and models that you can use. Um, but all we want to do is look for a quick HDRI just to add some more realistic lighting into our scene, right? So nothing fancy. Um, very quickly just select something and it's going to download the HDRI and apply it automatically alright so there we go we already have realistic lighting but now what you can see here is Um, there's no physical refraction and reflections of light and we need to adjust that so we go here to our shading tab into our node editor and there's a few things that we can do to make this look more realistic so the first thing we can do is add a vector displacement so we want to 
go shift a search and we want to search vector displacement take our color drop it into the vector and our displacement into displacement and already you can see there's a quick texture and as we increase the scale it is going to increase the displacement right so we just want to keep it on one for now and we can go down here to materials and to our surface settings and we can change this to displacement and bump now you can see that doesn't look right so we want to change this to 0 0.03 and it uh, doesn't look too bad I want to actually rotate this leaf so select it press R I want to rotate on the Y axis at 180 degrees right and so now we've got some displacement going on and some bump now all you need to do is you need to just play around with this until you are happy now let's see if we add a subdivision modifier and that's not going to work uh, but it doesn't have to be super strong so so you can play around with these settings but I just wanted to quickly show you an example but I'm not going to do that for for this particular tutorial we just want to use bump only and set that to one because now the light will be affecting this and now what we can also do is we can drop this into the roughness and it's already looking a lot better as you can see we've got some reflections on certain parts and from a distance it looks like a pretty realistic leaf now if you want to take it one step further you can add some subsurface scattering if you want but you do have to be careful when you play around with these settings because you can slow down your system and it's going to take a lot longer to render let's just add a quick light a point light we want to move it down going to increase the brightness to see if it shines through you know when you add subsurface colors we want to add a green lime tinge add some more subsurface scattering here And you can play around with these settings until you're satisfied. Let's bring up this light, the brightness. And if you let it load, you can see that you are getting some subsurface scattering around the edges of this leaf, right? But like I said, that will slow down your system. So let's gonna we'll just put subsurface down all the way. And you can add some metallic sh sheen or shine to your leaf if you want to and then what you also can do is you can add a normal map drop the color into the color normal into normal and then we can bring that down All right and now we quickly want to adjust the origin point for your leaf so you want to go to the top view select the 3d cursor click on the end point go back to your selection tool right click and say set origin to 3d cursor now the origin point will be at the stem at the very end point of your leaf here 
So now that we've created a leaf, we want to create a tree so that we can place our leaf on our tree. Now remember we activated the sapling modifier. What we are going to do is shift A, go to curve, sapling tree generator. And you can open these settings and you can play with all the different settings of the tree. There's so many different settings. You can choose what kind of shape tree you want. And then once you're happy with that, you can adjust the branch radius, the amount of branches, the thickness of the base of the tree. You can add leaves and all those kinds of nice things. So let's just quickly give it, scale that up a bit. And we want to go to our We want to convert it, right click and convert to mesh. Then we want to go to weight paint. And we just want to paint on the edges of these branches. Because this is where we are going to use a particle system to distribute our leaves. And this will tell the system where the leaves need to grow and they need to grow off the tips of these branches here so it can be a little tedious because sometimes it doesn't always paint so nicely but uh, just with a little bit of patience you can paint the tips of these branches it doesn't have to be perfect I mean, if you're spending, if it's a really quick uh, render you want to do and you just need to create some of your own trees and you could, couldn't find a tree online that you like, you can go and create your own. So just make sure you paint these tips quickly. Just try and get as many of them as you can I'm trying to go slowly so you guys can see what I'm doing Looks like we've got basically most of the tips here. And now we want to make sure your tree is selected. Go to your particle system, add a particle system, and we want to select hair particles. We want to change the vertex group to density, and it's going to pick up where we were painting. And then uh, we want to change the render from path to an object. Right? And what you can do then is click on the eyedrop tool and sample your leaf. And it will place the leaves onto your tree. And then let's hit the rendered view quickly. So you can see we've got now leaves on our tree. But if we want more leaves, we can go down to the children tab and select interpolated. And that's going to add more leaves into our scene. Now, it sh once you hit the actual render button, there's going to be more leaves than what you see here, right? So this is just your viewport display. But in your rendered amount, it's going to multiply by 100. So what we can do is quickly set up a camera so you can just hit control alt zero to lock camera to frame and then actually go to view select your camera to view and then you just zoom out make sure your tree is inside of the camera view and then we can 
go to our samples here uh, to our render settings now it's currently on 4000 samples but that's going to take forever but you can put a time limit here say so, okay we only want to render for 10 seconds because we just want to preview and then we hit f12 on the keyboard and then just give that a moment to render Cool, and it's quickly rendered something for us. So obviously there's some issues with distribution, which is not a major problem. We're gonna go down back to the particle tab under children. We're gonna go down to clumping roughness and we wanna just drag the random slider, increase the size, and you just wanna play with with um, these settings until you're happy with the way things are distributed. You can also go up to scale randomness, so you have some variation. Um, and then if you really want, you can go click the advanced tab, object rotation, make sure object rotation is enabled. And then you can randomize uh, normal and you can randomize rotations really up and you can play with this right so you can use different settings it's completely up to you what you want to do but I tend to find that um, just using the settings here works pretty well for me so we can just remove that add particle here go to object sample our leaf density interpolate it under children and then randomness And then you can increase that if you want to. And once again, let's hit render and see what we have. No, so it's uh, not, it, there's too many leaves for these branches, right? So we want to bring that down to maybe 500 then it will look a less overwhelming uh, but you don't also don't have to use the children setting that is just an, an option and you can just add the amount of leaves that you want so this is getting giving us the most realistic effect at this point. Now, the normal settings on the shading might be a little bit too harsh. So if we go back to shading, and then here under normal or under scale of vector displacement, we can say 0.5. Go back to layout render see what that looks like it looks a little bit better our leaves don't look so harsh and then if you really want to under shading if you want to shade give your tree base some color you want to go to tree that's your particle system tree Add new material. Let's see. Okay, yeah. So we're going to go to material and say tree. And then just select some sort of bark on Blender Kit. And that will automatically load that into your material settings. 
and look it's already applied it which is quite nice but you can also increase the scale of your texture if you wanted to so I'm gonna add a quick plane render it and there's your very quick rough tree and yeah doesn't look bad it's not the best looking tree but it is a quick uh, way to create something that if you working on a project and you don't have the time to sit and play around and find something online you can just create your own tree can add some depth of field here 0 0.5 or 0 0.1 very nice we want to add some bokeh or bokeh and then maybe we can add a, an extra area light. Scale that. Rotate 90 degrees here. Just for some extra lighting on our tree. Camera. all right and there you go it's gonna render quickly but that's it guys that's it for this uh, very quick tutorial i hope you found it informative and uh, hope you can use it uh, or apply it in your projects i hope it uh, that you did enjoy it if you did then maybe consider hitting the like button i see a majority of people that watch these videos aren't subscribed and i know that's something that people say all the time but guys it's 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 serious like if you subscribe to my channel you end up supporting me and it motivates me to create more of these kind of videos for you guys and the more time i will have to be able to create something like this and share with you guys out there so if you really do enjoy the watching this channel and these videos and you want more and you want them faster then consider subscribing it's completely free and it helps us out so yeah thanks for watching i hope you guys have a lovely day further and i'll see you on the next video